afternoon and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about how the you get the, the equations for the velocity, maximum velocity and the maximum acceleration for the um, simple harmonic motion. So on your data sheet you can see that Vmax is omega A and A max is minus omega squared A. Okay. And <coughs> ah, it's not minus, it's actually just A, because we're looking at the magnitude here. And what I, what I want to talk about is actually where it comes from, okay, and why that is true. These are the graphs, we've drawn these in the previous video, so this is the one for uh, displacement, this is the gradient of that graph, the velocity, and this is the gradient for that graph, the acceleration. And what I want to talk about here is these points here, and how they relate to the formulae. So remember, you don't actually need to know these two formulae, but I actually just want to prove to you why this actually works. This is, this is the formula for velocity here, and it is maximum. If you look at sine, if you put into your calculator, sine will go from zero to one. So it is maximum, this value for velocity is maximum if this part here equals one. So V is max when sine omega t equals 1. And therefore, if that equals 1, all you are left with is A omega. And that is the formula that's in your data sheet. The same is true for this, that the acceleration is maximum when cos omega t equals 1. So if that equals 1, that's what we're left with. And because we're only looking at the um, magnitude, I don't really care about the negative sign. But this does mean, because sign and cos are not 1 at the same place, if you draw a sign and a cos graph, they are not 1 at the same place, this means you get maximum acceleration and maximum velocity at different points. And what it means here is that V, when V is maximum, the acceleration here is zero. And that kind of does make sense. So at this point here, I am furthest away. And there is the biggest amount of force pulling me inwards. Therefore, the biggest amount of uh, mass, uh, biggest amount of acceleration, F equals MA. As I get lower and lower, the resultant force gets lower too, and therefore my acceleration decreases. But my speed at this point here would be maximum. You can actually look at it in energy transforms. Here I have maximum GP, there I've got maximum kinetic energy. It's the same concept. We'll be talking about energy in SHM a bit later. So up here, max, I've got here, I've got biggest acceleration inwards. I've also got the most displacement due. But remember, acceleration goes in the opposite direction to displacement. As it comes down here, my displacement is zero, my acceleration is zero, but my velocity is going to be maximum. I'm going to be going the fastest at the bottom. And as I go up, I'm going to start slowing down, which is why I stop. And, but my acceleration trying to pull me back the other way is increasing. So that there is the idea of maximum velocity acceleration. And let's now actually look at this formula. Let's say that I had a pendulum that had um, a time period of 15 seconds. It's quite a long time period to go there and back again. And let's say that my amplitude was say two meters. So it was swinging through here to the first bit from the equilibrium to outside is two meters. So if I drew this on a diagram, here, that there is two meters. So from the equilibrium point to the point I'm at, that is two meters. Okay. I want to work out my maximum velocity and my acceleration. Oops, wrong one. Acceleration max. Okay, so the formulae, V, okay, 
I'm going to need to work out omega. So omega is 2 pi f. And you find that in circular motion. Please be aware that circular motion is used a lot. So please keep referring back to it. If something's moving in a curve that looks like it's going to go around the circle, have a look at um, a circular motion. Which of course equals 2 pi over t. So I'm going to have 2 pi over 15. And I get an answer of 2 times pi divided by 15. And that is 0.42. Okay. Now I'm going to put it into these formulae. So Vmax is 2 times 0.42, which is 0.838 meters per second. And Amax is 2 times 0.42 squared Not point three five two eight meters per second squared. Okay. So as you can see here, my really long oscillation. This is like a very long time to actually oscillate. It's not really moving very fast, and that kind of makes sense from my results here. I'm moving at barely a meter per second. Okay. So that there is maximum speed and maximum acceleration.